Hi everyone, this is Mike and, well, Mike and, and Sam. Sam. <laughs> Mike and Sam, we're going to do another unboxing. This is for uh, another non-GW game, which is brilliant. We're getting through quite a few of these at the moment. Unboxing a lot of them anyway. We've still got to um, build and play some games and paint some models for these. I'm extremely excited because this is... Yeah, you've not stopped talking about it. Samurai. <laughs> Samurai you've is my thing. have been this for a long time. Yeah. Um, we're going to open it up, have a look what's inside. We're not going to do the playthrough, we're not going to build the models, we're not going to paint them. They're all going to be on separate videos. This is just what you get inside the box. Now, this is from Warlord Games. It's sold out on their website, so it's pretty rare stock at the moment. I think it's going to be back in within the month, so it's definitely going to be one worth picking up. Oh, and you know what? Phil loves his boxes, yeah. but that does have that Apple box. It is quite pleasing on the eye. So we'll get rid of that. Nice artwork. Obviously, it's Samurai. Oh my god, so we've got the instructions. I think there's what? One, two, three. Three, three pages of three instructions. Three pages of instructions. That's double sided as well. Okay. We've got main rules and we've got a battle guide. So we'll have a look at those in a second. Now, ooh. We've got some card buildings, we've got some counters, which seems to be so far in all these skirmish games we've been looking into. Yeah. You get all there, these there counters. There tends to be a lot of counters. And some loot. All pop out as well, aren't they? All pop out. Oh, double sided. So you've got one, two, three, four, five on there. Same on this one. So you've got well, They're not building. all double sided, but some of them are. Building and then ruined building. That's cool. Yeah. So once you've destroyed a building, you can clearly see. Now. Bases first. I do love you my do bases. Like bases. I think one of the guys in our Facebook group had posted up some movement trays and we wondered where they were obtained from and he couldn't remember where, but it looks like they're from this game. Right, the next thing we've got are cards. So, shall we ever open these up and just have a flick through? Yeah. So, we haven't had a look at the rules or anything yet, so. Right, what have we got? We've got Tough Hide. So what does this do? When the samurai suffers a heavy wound, roll a die, the following result applies instead. Ah, cool. So this is what happens with the dice. Now we haven't looked at these yet, but you haven't got your normal six-sided dice. You've got these really weird original looking dice. Are they meant to be like a symbol for a blade? It looks like a blade. That's a samurai sword. I However, think. this says you've got, if you roll that, you take a light wound. If you roll that, you get two light wounds. I don't know, we'd have to check the, roll, the thing, but that's straightforward. Yeah. You look at the card, you roll your dice, it tells you exactly what the result is on the dice and you can carry on playing. So that's definitely a nice thing. Knock down, after the samurai makes a melee damage roll, if his opponent has not been cut down, he may take a test of strength. If a test is passed, the opponent is knocked down strength once per turn so maybe you've got different types so yeah you've got strength agility deflecting arrows oh <laughs> you know what i read vault and thought money instantly but no is it vault, yeah, vaulting, yeah, over, vaulting over something yeah. unbeaten win three battles in a row so that's a quest so you've got quests so there must be whilst the game's going on so it'd be like, like your three combats and well i'm guessing it would be proud troops if you have no dishonor card and your opponent has three or more, you gain plus one die on the next test made by a commander. So do people commit, uh, what is it, seppuku? No, is that what it's called? I'm sure it's seppuku. Not sure. So you've got a range of different cards inside here. And they tell you what to do quite straightforward. Got the funky dice. Like we said, they're not normal D6. All right, main rules. We're going to see how complicated this looks. What do we have? Right, so miniature warriors. The box includes plastic sprues to make five samurai, 20 ashigaru soldiers armed with spears, and 10 armed with bows or muskets. Two samurai models in the box then. Yeah, 35 models. Um, there's also parts to construct some of the ashigaru as command models, such as banner barriers and musicians. So if you buy this and you want to expand upon that, you can always, you can mix the kits together, which is definitely a bonus. Uh, it also includes a selection of scenery elements and the following gaming components. So you've got the 10 Test of Honor battle dice, 10 multi bases, which are their movement tray things, 21 recruitment cards, one for each faction, 
23 skill cards, 6 injury cards, 10 dishonor cards, and so on and so on. I mean, in terms of setting up, it looks like a board game to me, rather than a miniature game. Yeah, it did almost, almost sound like most card games, doesn't it now? Board games, card games, yeah, they're all the... I mean, this is the sort of game that Rachel likes. She likes board games more than miniature games, so definitely a good one for some people. What do we have? Recruitment cards. Before each battle, you assemble your force using recruitment cards. During the game, keep your recruitment cards laid out in front of you. You will place tokens on them to show which warriors have acted each turn. So that's quite a good way to keep track of everything. That's why there's a bit more to set up, because you have all of your units in front of you. Very similar to the Silver Tower stuff, where you have your, you have your own personal character in front of you and then you have how many dice you can activate each turn so it's a much easier way to play the game you're not having to remember what every unit does yeah. it's just in front of you so i do like anything that has cards to make it more of a physical reminder of what you're supposed to be doing prepare for battle i mean the booklet isn't that big is it i think there's about what 15 pages 15 pages i think altogether for rules so 15 pages yeah i mean everyone complains about simple games but I really like simple stuff and it doesn't look too simple there's a lot more to it you've got all of these extra rules in here it's just simplified in terms of getting through the book you haven't got a big tome like 200 pages to get through Nagitana counter-strike so these are the weapon bonuses the attacker is forced back as normal the target warrior immediately makes a free charge action heavy club if the target warrior fails, uh, fails his avoid roll then he is knocked to the ground it looks quite straightforward, look at this is at a quick glance. Yeah, your ranges, um, so your bow's 24 inches, muskets are 20 inches, thrown weapons are 9 inches, very similar to what you've got in uh, most war games. Um, I do like the idea of muskets being in there, because I think I watched The Last Samurai and they didn't have muskets, they just got mowed down by... Yeah, they were all just charging forward. Spoiler into, alert. Into, yeah. Gatling gun beats samurai. <laughs> yeah. So having some muskets might be a bonus. Uh, and then you have your quick reference on the back, which is nice. Um, one thing that I think a lot of companies now do with their games to keep it straightforward and playing. Oh, interesting. Then we've got another book, which is the Battle Guide. So your core rules are in a 15 page booklet. The Battle Guide, I imagine, is like scenarios. Uh, it's looking like which it shows you how to set the battlefield for the game. Yeah, so deployment, setting up the tokens, setting up the board, recruiting, so that's your army building, all of your skills, and then we've got, well, there's battle one, two, three, four, five, six, six different mission types that you can play, so there's a, a variant. And some further battles as well. Yeah. It's a one-off game. You can easily play a one-off game by simply choosing a scenario and randomly picking who is player one and player two. You can also try changing the recruitment limit for a bigger or smaller battle. So with the recruitment thing, do you have to, I mean, you're paying for them. I imagine it's a system, rather than just saying you're gonna do a thousand points, you say, we've got- So it's just no, another way of- Currency, yeah. yeah, you've got to recruit your army. You've got to recruit your stuff to actually play. So that's good. Uh, oh, and on the back, we've got a painting guide, which is good, because I'm gonna paint these up in a, I'll follow this. Right, we're going to look at the sprues now. And there's quite a lot in this box, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot of pieces. You've got your standard bases. They look like 25 mil bases. They're all the same. So we'll shift them out of the way, which makes sense because they all fit in their um, movement trays. Yeah. Going to have to start calling them by the name that they've called them. But and what was that name? I don't know. <laughs> there's a name. Um, right, so there's, how many guys was there? Uh, 36. I'm hoping I've got that there's right. There's five samurai, and interestingly enough, I'm sure I've bought some of these samurai in the past. So I'm not sure whether Warlord Games did sell these as a previous set, but I'm pretty sure the samurai ones definitely were available at some point. And I'm sure it was this sprue that I've got at home because I remember the back banners. I I'm, remember sure, these, I'm sure I remember you showing me some of these before. These blades. And I remember these helmets. With the like, really pointy top parts to them. And all I can remember was how nice and how detailed these kits are. I mean, if you look at the blade, look at the hilt. 
Yeah, you can see the ridges all the way along it. And all of these individual armour plates. There's quite a lot of detail on these. Look, they're, they're not hero scale, are they? This is true, true 28 mil. But there's still a lot of detail. Even for the size, and there's a lot of detail on that. Yeah, definitely. So that's the five samurai models. You've got, yeah, five sets of legs on there. So one sprue. That's all of your samurai. And then we've got <coughs> the Ashigaru, if I have pronounced that correctly. And they come with these really nice looking back banners as well. So they're the bowmen, I think, aren't they? Yeah, I think you can build these with bows or you can build them with spears or muskets. So that, I mean, if that's the musket, that's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks like a dagger. If you were going to get a Space Marine or even an Imperial Guardsman's dagger, that's the, the height, that's the size of that in it. The bows are quite a decent size though. They're, quite, they're, they're long bows, I think? Yeah, the bows are definitely chunkier than the muskets. Uh, and it looks like they go together fairly well. I mean, looking at the instructions, we'll just bring that over. The instructions are really straightforward. They don't even number them because you've got a body with a head, some legs and some arms. Quite straightforward to build. Yeah. That's the Ashigaru Yari, Yari troop. Got that guy, look at him. Got a little backpack. He's carrying everyone's food. Yeah, they've all carrying the um, samurai swords as well, by the looks of it. Yeah, so they all get their weaponry. Um, but there's just a, a huge amount of sprues inside here. Size of that flag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Banner. Big banner. I wonder if someone's holding... Yeah, one guy holds that. So you've got all the normal guys with back banners, and then you've got one dude with the big, massive uh, clan banner. Size of them spears, though, as well. Spears are massive, yeah. Have they... I, I dare say them spears would be bigger than um, GW ones. GW spears, for yeah. definite. They're thinner, but the length of them is a lot double, maybe? I just really like the blades, because a lot of the time you see the really oversized stuff. You know, like in Final Fantasy, you've got the... Um, oh, the huge, like, six-foot long swords. Mazamuni, I yeah. think it's called, or Mazamuni. Sephiroth's got that, and it's just over the top. This, I mean, over the top's amazing, it's a good sword, mm. but that is more realistic, and Simple. it looks quite yeah. nice. So there's, there's tons of sprues, we're just going to hold these up rather than putting them all underneath because they're generally duplicates. Six sprues worth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So you've got seven big amount of sprues with loads of models in there. And um, one thing that we got as well, which I'm just going to open up, is a special character. This was one that came with the box because it's, um, I don't know if it's a limited edition one, and I don't even know what the name of it is, but this comes with the set where we bought it from. Uh, it's got another card, unarmoured, so I don't know, oh it's an upgrade. So this maybe isn't a special character, it's just a model that you get that you would use in the game. Yeah, but that special card may only be done, just a guess, that that could only be used with that guy. Yeah, and he looks quite cool. It looks like he's just got out of the bath, picked up a sword and he's gone off to go fight somebody. Yeah. See, that's not plastic neither, is it? No, this one's metal, so all the rest of it's plastic. This guy's metal. I'm not sure the rest of their range, if it's metal or mainly plastic, but I know Warlord Games have got a, a wide range of miniatures. We're, we're looking at doing bolt action next, aren't we? Yeah. I think bolt action or Conflict 47 is something we're definitely interested in looking into. Well, we've been looking at this as well. well you, were quite, you were dead excited to be doing the unboxing for this. It's just because it's Samurai, and I've been banging it's on about Samurai years. for years. years. Um, and they've, somebody's finally done it, so thank you Warlord Games for finally creating a game that I can play. And it looks simple enough for me to actually play it as well. Now I just need to convince everybody else to join in with me. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I could be tempted into it. Yeah, so pretty impressed with that. Um, definitely one to look into. Like I said, it's sold out at the moment on Warlord's website, but there are some independent stockists that you can buy it from. It's definitely worth looking around, see if you can pick it up. It's only £35, I think, recommended retail price, so it's not even a big chunk of money for the amount of stuff you're getting inside there. Yeah. And you're getting a really good amount of models. Really cool looking game that's uh, definitely worth looking into. Thank you all for watching, and if you like this sort of video, just leave us a comment down below and you know give us suggestions on what we can do in future, what sort of games you want to see, whether you want to see some uh, building and paint tutorials on these models in particular, and whether you want to see some games being played, because we do it for others to watch. So if there isn't as much of an interest, 
then we'll try doing different systems but this is definitely one that I'm interested in doing so it'd be good if there's others that actually want to see this sort of content. Um, if there are other games you want us to go through and have a look at just leave that in the comments below and we will definitely look into picking it up and going through at least an unboxing and after that we can do more stuff with it. So head on over to wargameronline.com if you haven't already. Um, Mike's very fondly showing off the website on his t-shirt. You can make a free account, it doesn't cost you anything and it just gives you access to more videos on there and if you do want to subscribe, there's a premium membership. It's £2.99 a month, so it's not extortionate. It's cheaper than most coffees anywhere. And that helps support us. It, it means we can keep doing what we're doing. We can keep getting more of these boxes and doing unboxings and doing more content on them. So it, definitely appreciated. Thanks to everybody who has actually uh, even just made an account on the website or subscribe to our YouTube channel, it means a lot. Um, but especially to all of those uh, guys and girls out there who have paid for a premium subscription this early on. Um, this, the content is definitely going up and up and we're including more and more things. But thank you a lot for joining on board on that. So we'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining us. See you. Bye.